Yeah, boss, we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. What's that uh, spot bot? and a couple generators. Pro Energy has their own uh, trucks, but they don't have a Texas bed. I don't think they do. I think they wanted to buy one, but at the time they were just too expensive. We used to do a lot of their work at Road Train, but they didn't like how expensive it was, so they bought their own truck. So I wouldn't want to be doing the work with the tractor, though, honestly. Um, some of their generators are pretty heavy. And uh, just imagine the places they gotta squish them into <laughs> with the truck and trailer. Or I guess they probably just like, here, this is the best we can do. You're gonna have to call a bat truck or something. Who knows how it goes, but yeah, the first volume down, first two years they were uh, in the making there or so, we did quite a bit of work for them and a lot of stuff to Fort Mac, which was kind of good at the time, except for it was a lot of wheeled light towers and stuff and that, uh, and gens, and they just, they're like, oh, you could just scissor down, and I would uh, just panel hitch them. Sometimes then I got tired of panel hitching them because it was such a pain in the ass by myself. I just started just putting them on the hook with a tail chain. <laughs> just, that's it, I'm like, so much easier. And uh, yeah, but our bills were too expensive because they, Whatever. It is what it is. Sometimes you would get screwed over and you'd be waiting and be like, hey, consultant, I'll go down and hook your power and change out this Jenny. And he wouldn't like that. But anyhow, they got something going on in Calgary. I think there's a building. They do a lot of stuff where you get a generator for backup if you have a backup generator in a lot of these skyscrapers and buildings like in big cities even probably here too they have a generator in the basement I bet that's something you didn't know I didn't know until the flooding of Calgary that happened in I don't even know what was that 2010 11 whenever but I used to have to uh, take generators downtown Calgary on a regular basis and it was such a pain in the ass but I put them on the picker low so because they have walkways in between the skyscrapers and they're only like 4-2, 4-5. I think we ended up being like 4-1 or something. They're basically a C-cam, but a little more high-end. But we're gonna just go over here and take a look at it, put a tape to it. Someone forgot to ask critical questions or just misjudged or it's like, I wrote it down when my pen was screwing up. I'm like, well, can't you shade it with a piece of paper like you're a secret agent and see what was written? <laughs> I'm like, screw it. I'll go over there and eyeball it just so I know. Because if I don't have to take a trailer into the city, then cool. Even better.
It's not over a meter overhang, but we'll do our due diligence just because it's the city. No one be hitting me now. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. He's gonna deck off here where it's flat, so I have a. He's gotta move those, remove all this equipment. These generators gotta be moved. We'll put the fuel skids in there. A crane coming, I guess, to lift these things off. Just like they were like, do it out there on the road. I'm like, well, the road slopes. Then when you go to pull something off a trailer, it likes to, especially when the back is all metal, that's just bad news. It's no good. Not the best idea. So I've found many a time. It's... Uh, yeah. What? You might want to slide your wheel. Whoa. Loop. 
Hubert case and What's up? You wanna just Won't slide. Brand new truck. Pretty swanky place. Look at all the mirror window shots I can get. Oh, where are you going? The long way. Yeah, man. I needed to come this way. This <laughs> slide. Slid a bit. I'm gonna take the mud flap off, maybe. in the snow. Fuck. Heat off. Winch on. Get a little nice flat incline, not on an angle. This will do nicely. are super small it always scares me I know I can never use my soft sling to put on there because my soft sling is so much thicker than uh, my cable sling like I look at it here and it looks like it's almost off the ear
You're almost out of air. Do the old drive forward roll down the hill. Take a breather for a second, make sure they're ready. Gonna turn around this joint. Gravy city work. It's like, oh, you guys are fucking awesome. We're all right. Big sticks here. My sling is so long, I'm like dragging it on the ground almost to ride, drive over in one second here. Let that picker get in and get spotted.
see what I mean? There's her. They don't stick out very much. It scares me. Otter. It's not even any better. Son of a... Gotta get a new sling. That's all there is to it. Backing up and winching, live hydraulics, just to make sure you don't pull it off the trailer or the roll. And Max over there is like, whoa, what the fuck is this? What's going on here? Nice and gentle. That wasn't gentle. Would have just had a tractor, it would have been so screwed. Have you seen the guy in charge? I'm like, no. I don't even know who's in charge. It's like, yeah, we're gonna need that from the other end. I'm like, of course. I can do that. We're only here to aim to please, so whatever you want, boss. Whatever you want, we do. Ah. Rob, get on there, stay on there. Where are my shoes? Coveralls are soaked. Ankles are now so.
gonna go to total after this and get a load ready for somebody for tomorrow. See, so you have three days in Swan Hills doing the job I did last time. Shouldn't take three days though. How's the tea bed guy stay slim? You're getting a first glance at it. In and out of the truck already like 50 times today. It's a little more straight this time. Good job. Are you some kind of bed operator? Well, you can call it that if you want. Oh, that was kind of square. Their skids aren't the best. They work, but they're a little bit too square in the front. so we can kind of get some, maybe some, oh, don't do that. Don't hit the nice trees. Back again in 10 minutes. Satisfied customer. They were just gonna set on one truck. No bad or anything. I guess it would have been wise to tea bed. Tea bed in a trailer. We would have been able to probably fit it all. It would have been a little bit of a tight fit, but it's nice to not have to work my ass off. And uh, yeah, so that's nice. And we get two trucks making money. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so that was easy, eh? Nice little leisure cruise into the city. A little bit of city work. A little bit of do this, do that. <laughs> he's hooked up his hoses, he's out of here. Got some skyscrapers over here getting built. I think we got a good thumbnail picture. Would have been nicer right in the front if the sun was shining the right way. But what do you do? It is what it is. Yeah, the guys, the guy that's running this operation was just like, wow, you guys are awesome. You did a 100% awesome job. I'm like, thank you. I'm like, we're just here to please. The big suck ass I am. <laughs> the first turn I was planning on taking was like, no trucks. I'm like, uh oh.
And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna clam stupidity and follow what my GPS said. It was like, next set of lights, turn left. I'm like, okay, which was perfect. It's where I wanted to be. I don't know where it was trying to take me, but it would have took me to one street too far over, so. Easy, it's a red light. No need to get up my ass. Alberta. Snow removal in full effect, so that must mean winter is over. Those guys are just hauling snow back and forth, just down the street there. All right, back to town. We gotta go over to Total, like I was saying, and I got a flange up. 1400 which is 20 feet and a 30 foot hose basket which is ridiculous but I try to fit it on our 42 foot low boy that's 10 feet out the back so I don't know if that what that equals to in meters from the center axle but 10 feet like that's that's three big paces for me it might just work I like could take your pick. You can uh, scissor flat and be a little bit over height, or and put the hose basket on the front, 400 on the back, because Total's tanks are extremely low in the first place, so you might get away with that. I doubt it, but I know I've done it before when I had to pick up like uh, a 30 foot and one 400, which it would have been smarter just to probably put it on the mat. I've done that too, but I was like, oh, I'm just scissor flat. Or I might have already been scissored flat, and I'm like, there's no way this is not heavy enough to scissor flat, right? So I'm like, I'm not decking off and scissoring. Screw it, I'm just loading it like this and going. Going for broke. And I did end up broke, because I got a huge fine. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I didn't, I got away with it. It was only out by Rimby into Red Deer, so. I wouldn't do that over a long distance. Every once in a while you gotta just break a little bit of the rules, but only in the bush. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, allegedly. This is the most favorite popular channel amongst DOTs. All right, <laughs> quit suck holing. Back to town.
the other stuff got canceled. Changed a few things, we're like, oh, I changed some stuff around. And uh, he's taking mats in a tub, they just put the tub on top of the mats, so I can only go. So I don't need to go over there and flip tanks. Well, that'll be it for today, I guess. Just a quick rinse, get the salt off. It's supposed to snow again in like a couple days, a couple centimeters. So I imagine this will probably all get, just get dry. And then it'll snow again and make it grow. So I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to rinse off the salt. Right. It's a never ending battle when you're driving a truck. But that's enough for today, going home. Hopefully there's some good footage in this. It's kind of cool being in the city. You get to see some different stuff. Do some construction site stuff. That's kind of always, even at road train, my most kind of interesting videos because they were so intricate. You get into the city and tight corners. Do a few things, which some of those videos will come up eventually on Replay Saturday. Get your new videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and replays on Saturday with commentation. Yours truly. <laughs>